Shui's Neotac 2 is often considered the king of modular helmets, but to see just how good it is, we've tested it in our riding review. Pretty much every list of the best modular helmets, or even uh, touring helmets for that matter, will have the Neotac 2 on it. And this helmet has proved to be very, very popular since its release. So what we've done is we've decided to test this helmet on our bike with all of our equipment so we can gather all the data. And we've given the helmet to our rider, we've sent him on his way, he's come back and we have the results from that. So if you've seen our review of the Neotech 2, this is gonna be slightly different. I'm gonna just quickly breeze through those specs and then we'll go straight into the review. We're gonna see how it performed. We're gonna uh, see the results of that testing. But just before any of that, you can also check out our best modular helmets guide of 2020. In that guide, you can see how the top eight modular helmets from all kinds of different price points stack up against each other. So now onto the specs. So the recommended retail price of the Neotech 2 is 630 euros. Uh, that marks it as a premium helmet. And the shell itself is going to be made out of the Advanced Integrated Matrix uh, or AIM. And that's going to be fiberglass composite. Uh, it's mainly fiberglass, but it also has some organic fibers in there as well, similar to carbon fiber. And the shell is strong and lightweight. The uh, helmet has actually been rated by Sharp. It got four out of five stars in their uh, safety rating, which was a fantastic result. The visor is prepared for an anti-fog pinlock lens that you get in the box with the helmet. And then the visor itself is going to have a very strong seal against the shell, uh, thanks in part to the mechanism. And on the inside, we have a drop-down sun visor as well. Ventilation comes via a little lip vent on the chin, scoop up top, and then also an always open vent at the back and the vents are very easy to open and close with gloves. Then we can open it up. On the inside the liner is removable, washable, antibacterial, uh, very comfortable as well. And then you have here preparation for a uh, communication system, the Senna SRL, and that is going to integrate into the shell of the helmet. All right, so let me explain to you what you're seeing in our riding review. On the left is the temperature reading in degrees Celsius. Uh, that's from the sensor which is being placed on top of our rider's head by the ventilation channels. Then the middle screen is our reading in decibels and the microphone for that has been placed by our rider's ear inside of the helmet. On the phone to the right is the wind speed in kilometers per hour and on the dash is our rider's speed and the outside temperature. So for the environment of our riding test, it was a very nice summer's day with an outside temperature of 33 degrees Celsius and we had a wind speed which was even to that of our riding speed, 130 kilometers per hour. Our test showed that the ventilation on the Neotech 2 was very strong and our thermometer gave us a temperature of 31 degrees, so we had a difference there of minus 2. Noise isolation was strong as well as we got a result of about 101 decibels, uh, very good for the Neotech, especially with those wind speeds of 130 km per hour. What our rider found out about the Neotech was basically what we expected as well. This was a top helmet, noise isolation and ventilation were comparable to other top helmets and he preferred this as the most comfortable modular helmet he's tested. He found the aerodynamics weren't bad either, and all in all, it was a very good riding experience. So now it's time to go through our results and conclusions. For material, the Neotech earned itself 4.5 stars out of 5. Uh, the very strong shell material, the three shell sizes, and a strong sharp safety rating all contributed to this result. Weight was a little bit weaker though because of the helmet's approximate 1.75 kilograms, though there is a lot on the helmet, so it does make sense. And should we make good visors? So the Neotech is no different. It comes with a pin lock. The helmet has a very robust mechanism, so it's well-deserved. Ventilation was good as you've seen in our test, and the same goes with noise isolation. Comfort was again top-notch and a strong feature of this modular helmet. The value wasn't too bad for a premium helmet either at 26 euros per star out of a total of 24.5 stars. And we're very comfortable in giving the Neotech a solid 4.5 stars having considered everything. So now that you've seen our riding review, if you're interested in picking this helmet up, then head over to our website, championarms.com. Once you're there, make sure to use the product bundles to get the best discounts possible as well. With the Neotech 2, you can find the Senna SRL system for the Neotech 2 for 60 euros off in the bundle. All right, guys, that is going to do it for our riding review of the Neotech 2. And this is basically just confirmed what we already knew. It's a top helmet, it does great, and it's very comfortable. So guys, if you want to see more reviews like this one, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube to stay up to date with all the latest that are coming out and head to our YouTube channel to see all the rest. So guys, thanks for watching. I'm Chris from Champion Helmets and I hope to see you all next time.